Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. We are here with the Dark Urge Bird. We're trying to infiltrate this mage tower to get something that may help us with the parasite. Um, the bird's infiltrating it because there's a bunch of turrets out front and uh, yeah, I can't get in there. If you want to see how we got <laughs> here, um, go back to the last episode and you'll see. We've got we've got Asterian in there too, like trapped on a balcony. Yeah, Asterian not, not invisible. Asterian's <laughs> just, just chilling. stuck here now because of the uh, <laughs> arcane turrets inside. Yeah, so we got one one uh, part of the recipe that we need, and we're looking for the second part, and we're looking for a way to maybe turn off the turrets. As yeah, well. like that's the dream, right? Ultimately, but yeah. like if that cleric is here, uh, what's her name? Uh, cleric of Mistra named Lenore. If she's here mm. and I'm like sneaking in, I feel like she might be pissed too, and I'm like, oh, that's. That's ironic that you're a raven and you're looking for Lenore. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Did you check in this corner? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go check now. Okay. Nothing. There's is a it? bunch of uh, mushroom things. And so Luckless is kind of watching from outside because he can't. We don't have a way to get him in here. I do feel like you could probably go and and just. Uh, well, I'm not chilling on the stool. You could probably <laughs> go and. Um, fight those turrets, honestly. But you need to make sure you're dealing 10 damage to even hurt them. I'm, I'm, I'm cool watching. Yeah, okay. Oh, Tongue of Madness! The, yeah, that's what I figured. The one issue with my point of view is uh, I don't see the stuff on the ground. Like, I just see um outline of you, basically. Like Yeah, that's kind of annoying, hey? Like a shadow of you. Well, okay, here's the thing. I We have all the stuff we needed from this tower. Mm -hmm. We could go back to Amelium. I and mean, we could just teleport out of here, right? Like we could, we could, we could, or or I you can, can keep you can go in the middle and see if you can go up. Yeah, which I, I assume this is a lift. Yeah, it is a lift. Yeah, yeah. There's a send and descend buttons. Okay. Wish me luck. Good luck. Can't use this right now. Succeeded in our Arcana check, but can't use this because you're a bird. I don't know if that's why. I'm gonna beak attack it. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Okay. If I descend, can't use that right now. So maybe I'll transform. Okay, you can go back, right, if you need to. Back to I where? I mean, like now, now that you're in there, you don't really need to be a bird. Well, we don't know that. No, this 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 thing is not working. It's like disabled. Lightning? Sorry. Lightning spell? Lightning spell for what? To activate it, maybe? To activate it? Yeah. Uh. Nope. What's interesting is I succeeded in an Arcana check, but like nothing happened. Yeah. You can't examine it or anything? Yeah. And so now because I, um, all of our short rests are gone, I can't wild shape back to be like a bird and fly up top or anything. Um, I love this music so perfect. Like, I feel like maybe I should be trying to go down. What do you think? I, I mean, I can't, though. So the thing is I, I'm working. out of ideas right now because you can't move this thing. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think we I think we go back and maybe we could do a full frontal assault if we want to come back. Yeah. Or we could like or... we could try getting back in a similar way, like with the bird and then go a different path after we long rest or something. But. Yeah, so... You know, you know, there's actually a door outside. I know. Yeah. At the bottom. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm... That's what I was saying. But I can't... Okay. I can't get there. You know? Like, I can't... I can't... I don't have a way... Yeah, I'm just trying to see if there's another way around. The alternative is, we just long rest, spend 80 camp supplies, I can bird again. We could do that. Okay. okay. So what do you want to oh, do? Oh, yeah, right, because you're going to stay there. Uh, in hey, theory. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do it. All right. Smart boy. Is that smart? I don't know. This is pretty wasteful just to become a bird. <laughs> and we actually, what was wasteful is how we used those two rests uh, before, but Asterion was pretty weak. Uh, like, do we have a ton of cap supplies? I mean, I would say, I would say yes. We still have like five full, uh, five 40 camp supply packages. Yeah, we're good. So we're okay for now, yeah. Yeah. So basically, like, at least five long rests. Uh, no, because those count as half now. 
because we're uh, on a harder difficulty. At least two and a half long rests. Right. Okay, so go back. Yeah. Hysterion's still I'm gonna, there. I'm gonna try to figure out how to get to that door. Okay, you do that. Um, I think I could just bird and get to that door down below. Like, I could fly there. <laughs> sure. Right. But if we, if we could have our whole party together. Though. Yeah, maybe I could find, like, a Let's checkpoint or something. There might be a, a teleportation thing, too. Okay, so I'm out in the back here. Yeah, I'm watching. And I can just fly down. Good. Good. Okay, now from here... Check, check over here. I'm going to check that tree. I'm just checking if there's anything behind it. There's now, like... I mean, uh, like if you follow the river, that's where the boat goes to. Like it goes along this river, right? So maybe the boat does stop there. Oh, that's possible. Yeah. Do you want me to go try it? Well, you might be engaged in like a rescue quest then and I'm like stuck yeah, here, yeah, but yeah. I get it. Like there's kind of not much for you to do with this. No, 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 I don't. I don't. I don't mind. I don't mind. This is, this is the way it's going to be sometimes. There's Susser Bloom here. So this is another Susser tree. That's curious. Okay, and there's a dirt mound. Save it for later. This is another place where you can get the Susser bark, I guess, maybe. So I can't get bark here. There's no bark, but that, there was insinuated that there's a Susser tree, but we did get that bark before, but we can just get those okay. Susser uh, blooms, right? But now I got to get rid of them because they block all the the anti-magic stuff. Oh, wait. Oh, right. Oh, wait. Anti-magic. Those are magic turrets. Yeah. With ah. that, with that, uh, I'm going to send these. I'm going to send these to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll throw them. Wait, Dude. wait, 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 wait. You throw them. I'll throw them at the turrets. Isn't that what you're thinking? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's actually, yeah, that's next level smart. I was thinking... <laughs> <laughs> you would just have it with draining the character's magical energy, preventing it from casting spells. Yeah, throw it at the turrets. Yeah. Okay, now can I watch you somehow? Yeah, double click on me. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna go turn base mode. Yeah. What's your range like though? Like, can you do that? Let's do. Let's do throw. Uh, can I? Yeah, I can throw. I assume it's only throwing one. So are you looking at me? I am, yeah. Maybe just just to be safe, split them. Just split them. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, send one to... That would, be, that would be weird, though, right? Yeah, it would be. Two? It would be, but send one to, like, Shadowheart or something. Uh, it, it's split up. It's fine. Okay. Um, Dude, that's... If this works, that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. So there's going to be so, so many people that are like, well, duh. <laughs> you know, but like, I don't know. I think that's so cool. Oh my god, is it working? I, I turned off, turned on turn base mode. Let's see. Hell yeah, it's working, baby! Bro, that's sick. Woo! See, I don't see all like the details, so. Dude, that's awesome. Now, now. We have more of these. We do have more of these. And you're gonna need to. Yeah, okay. So, I have a plan. Yeah. I'm gonna plan. grab a bunch from camp and throw them. That's my plan. Okay, yeah, fine. Go for it. I was going to go to camp for you, but I'll just leave my guys here and I'll keep kind of investigating. Yeah, keep looking around. I'll dig this hole and um, whatever. That's that's freaking awesome, dude. So I'm going to transform back. I still have another shape shift if I want, but I want to check this dirt mound. I, I think I have. No, birds. we have a bunch. I, I, I have one. I can't take, I can't get yours though, right? Uh, no. Yeah, so you will have to come back to give them to me. I only have two. Okay. The downside to that, well, okay, it's fine because if you're disabling the traps, then whatever, right? Yeah. So yeah, that's yeah. easy enough. Um, I did find in this garden a scroll of Glyph of Warding. Inscribe a circle of arcane glyphs on the ground. When stepped on by an enemy, the selected magical effect will trigger. Ooh, so it's like a mine. That's cool. How much farther can I go? Now, do you want me to go into the bottom of this door? Oh, it's locked. Oh, is it? It's locked. Oh, Asterion. Yeah, it, yeah, sure, Asterion. If we, if he has Featherfall, though, he could jump down. True, and we do have Featherfall somewhere, I think. Mm -hmm. 
Unless we use them all. Ooh, I just got a successful... I found a hole. What the frick? I'm way too big. I guess I gotta go cat mode. <laughs> I love this. To become a, a cat, and then I'll go into this hole, and I can kind of see in this basement. Do you want to go to camp and give me these things? And there's a so power can... generator down here, so I might be able oh, to disable there you everything. Go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Is this your, is, this, is, this is the dark urge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to watch? Hold on, let me just go back with Carlac. Okay. Sorry, this is this is so freaking cool. Oh, I love it. I love this. Stop apologizing, freaking Canadian. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Do your thing. I'm watching. I'm a cat. Now, where's... I don't know where the cleric is here. Probably uh, at the top. Yeah. Usually, they're, they're at the top of their tower, right? Usually. Uh, I now, can... don't don't explode yourself, because you do that as a cat. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey. Do, you have a, do you have a torch up your butt? I, I actually don't know. <laughs> Let me grab all this crap. Yeah, cats could totally do that. Okay, good. I'm going to hit this lever. You know, this game's not very realistic. Okay, so the back door is now opened. So I Good. don't need a Asterion to do anything there. Turn, turn off. off the power. Turn on the lights. I'm setting the vibe, bro. Okay. I thought you are supposed to turn the lights off. Well, not down here. Night. Dragon egg mushroom. Treatise on the anti-magic properties of susser tree flowers. You interested in hearing about that? Sure. Anti-magic field? Oh my god, it's so long. Um, Anti-magic properties of susser tree flowers. So I think this is like the hint to use those. For those yep. knowing about susser trees, their magical properties have always been a topic of debate. Not only their ability to create an anti-magic aura, this is complete enough that even those attuned to the weave can feel its effect, but also, and most interestingly, to those living in the world above, the way its roots, bark, and flowers can be harnessed to make magic items. Rumors of such items are rare, but spread in settlements bordering the Underdark. Their existence, however, has been confirmed by any of our clerics, has never been confirmed by any of our clerics, nor by any other reputable scholars. I hypothesize that these items are no mere legends, and indeed, in this treatise, I will endeavor to explain how I myself created items that have anti-magic properties. And that use of the magical absorption of susser tree flowers as a power source. Lines drawn on the following pages if the author intended to fill them with writing, but the remainder of the thin book is blank. Hmm. Okay, so I'm still... Are you following still? You can kind of see yep. some stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can see. Withered blue petals. Now... Oh God. Is Look. this thing you're standing in front of the generator? Yeah. I'm just worried about, like, you know, everything. Don't be worried, man. You got this. There's these glowing gems over here that have, like, a health amount. It's a bit concerning. <laughs> Oh, I got, there's so many alchemical ingredients down here. And rotten carrots. And shoes. Is there any salami? And sandals. I'll look for you. Destitute clothing. Ooh, a bunch of gems and chasm creepers. Oral histories of Faerun, the spell plague. I picked up like a, a million books like that. Several chapters. Turn the power off! I'm so happy. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> what if it just... Well, see, this this episode, you're playing like me. <laughs> I need to combine items, dude. Oh, I probably okay. need to put a, a susser thing in here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, send me yeah. a susser. Send me a susser. I'm sending... Don't, did you pick one up? Oh, you sent it to me. That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, susser being sent. No, that's, that's from the wrong place. There you go. I, I don't really like that I could send you items, <laughs> but you know, it is. It is what it is. Oh, they just me. exploded. You can watch this, I think. Oh. I think I've turned it on, but that wouldn't make sense. No, this is. Uh oh. No, we're oh, good. you turned on the lift. Yeah, yeah, we're good. There we go. Turrets are powering down. Yes. Honestly, this 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 is so cool. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. This this is D and D. This is here. sick, bro. Like this is so. Th this cool. this episode of the last one should be like a trailer for this game. Like, this we, is so. We showed cool. every single different way you could like solve this, Dude, except for attacking. It, what are those up. things? Did you see that? There was like enemies standing at the top of the tower. 
Oh, like automatons or something? Yeah, it looked like that. It okay, did... so those are they're disabled now, right? Yes. Um, yes, I think. Let me just check with the Styrian. I can check really quick. Yeah, they are. They are. Okay. I'll just leave that there. Quick stand. Oh, dude, so cool. What a game. Game of the year? Does it pass the aliens then? Oh, it's it's just it's just so freaking good. Uh, so I'll wait for you at the... Oh, wait. Where do you come in from? Okay, I just got to read this book. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> I got a scroll of fireball, man. Nice. I'll actually just check over here before I leave. Um, druids are sick, man. So we're going to yeah, send these... that's really helpful. Are we sending these back to the camp? These, uh... The, the susser? Yeah. Susser? Susser? We should, right? Yeah. Uh, I got a letter to Yuri. Okay. Dearest Yuri, I don't know if you're coming back, if you'll even read this message, but if you do come back, could you wait for me? I'll only be gone a few ten days, but the thought of coming back to this empty tower with nothing but Bernard to fill these halls. I don't know how much longer I can take this. I miss you. I miss you so much. I can't shake the thought of how different things might have been. If only I'd been less stubborn. Working on your lightning inventions, my magic, eating together, laughing at your stupid puns. Waking up next to you, despite everything, I still love you. So please, if you read this, can you wait? I'll be back. I won't be long, forever yours, Lenore. A few cool. sentences are penned below in a different hand. I waited, I waited until... Tarsac? I'll wait, I'll always wait for you. But you didn't come. Nice, man. Sad. Um, do me a favor. Check Carlac's inventory. I sent you something that you are going to enjoy. Elixir of bloodlust. Yeah, check it. Shrink to enter a bloodlust. Once per turn, when you kill a foe, you gain five temporary hit points and additional action. <sighs> Sweet. Single use. Okay. I wonder how long it lasts for. I found broken machinery to create elixir of lightning resistance. Replace this effect from other elixirs when drunk. Does that mean I can just always, I can drink it now and it's just always in effect? No, I I don't think so. It's like single use. But then it says replaces effects from other elixirs when drunk. Yeah, it's saying if you have other elixirs on you that you've drunk previously, it's gonna replace yeah. it all with bloodlust. So, but it will last forever until I do that. I... I'll look it up after. Yeah, sure. Okay, are you coming? Yeah, there's a chest here. It's locked. Um, I'm gonna pick it up and send it to Asterion. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's in Asterion's inventory. Okay. Heavy chest? Yeah. Because you know that's what you do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is, there is some, like, game-breaky stuff, but, like, <laughs> yeah. if it's, if it's within the nature of the game, I don't feel too bad. Sure. <laughs> it's that chest I just sent you! <laughs> that was the funniest thing ever, man. Welcome to my tower! You failed. Maybe if I would have had somebody giving guidance, like, maybe if you were doing your job or something? I was laughing, man. I was doing my job. <laughs> I have a lot of thieves tools. Yeah. Hit me with the guidance, please. Oh, that's ugh, just bliss. You need to pick me up. I don't know if we're getting that one either. Okay, we got it. Yeah, see, I didn't spoil that one. Oh, Skybreaker, one to four damage. It's bludgeoning. So it lasts until you take a long rest at your camp, the elixirs. Okay. I'll send you a sledgehammer, and I'll keep these silver ingots. Yeah. Okay, so now... Um, there's a light in every living thing. It's crawling towards the surface to survive, and in its wake, it tramples everything. We'll kill the rest so that one can thrive. There's a gilded chest. Oh, wait. Chest of the mundane? That chest is magic. Oh. Its energy has been able to tingle. We got an arcana check here. Mm-hmm. Does that mean this is going to explode on me? 
<laughs> Whoa. The chest of the mundane, it's like a bunch of like plates, spatulas, ladles. Oh. What is this trickery? And it gave me a scroll of mage armor. And it transformed? Examine. Should I try opening it again? God, I feel like this is dangerous. Psychic resistance, poison resistance, radiant. No. Nothing. Okay, so luckless. Uh, what are we doing here? I think we need to go to the top no, and see what happens, right? Yeah, let's go. Okay. Should I still be this cat? <laughs> why not? Yeah, why not? The cat attack, by the way, oh um, I can distract people, and that's about it. I can. That's amazing. I can also scratch people. You can absorb one hit. Exactly. Oh. Yeah, exactly. I thought the thing would move up, but... Oh, yeah, I guess it's by party. Yeah, it's teleporting us. Okay. We gotta check all the things here. This is so cool. Scroll of... Another chest, and there's a button. Scroll of blindness. Mage's friend, arcana and religion checks, plus one. What kind of item is that? It's a ring. Oh, nice. Wait, wisdom so and arcana? Uh, no, it's uh, Arcana and Religion. Arcana and Religion. Let's check I think the... I give it to Shadowheart. What is hers? Arcana Zero for Arcana. Oh, so... Assyrian has plus one. Exactly. And Religion plus one, but I Shadowheart has Religion plus two, so. I've got a long road. It's okay. kind of like, it could be good on either. Yeah, give it to her. That's fine. Yeah. There's like a whole bunch of books here. Is there anything in these books that interests you? Uh, oral histories of Faerun, Gith, and Mind Flayers? Engraved Gith Yonki disc. What the frick is that? Well, that, that interests me. A round slate with circular symbols etched into it. Engraved Gith Yonki disc. Maybe we can show that to um, Lazale? Mm hmm. Handwritten letter. I'll check this. I got a painting, man. Here's a letter to Lenore, the cleric. I'm not sure I should say this, but your last letter really worried me. Why in all hells would you tame a bullet? A B-U-L-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. Uh, just because you found it near Myrna's grave doesn't mean that's a sign. Is the is the bullet... Um, was that the creature? The, like, worm creature? By chance? Oh, maybe. Just because you found it near yeah. Myrna's grave doesn't mean that's a sign. I'm really worried about you, Lenore. A bullet is not a pet. Using it as a guardian is one thing, but you sound quite shaken by it. I know you don't want to come back before you finish your research, but if you are feeling lonely, you know my door is always open. Lots of love and hugs, Amareth. P.S. It really warms my heart to hear that you put the autumn crocus flowers on Myrna's grave. I remember she liked to roll around in them, even though she'd always sneeze after. She was such a soft, loyal dog. I wish there was more I could do. Myrna's grave. So there's like a grave site with some special flowers on it. Okay. Is this the thing you are talking about that you wanted to give to... Uh... Zale, an engraved disc of Githyanki origin containing a complex cipher that can decrypt in no, uh, that, that's... ancient Gith dialects. Oh, okay. Well, uh, then I'm going to use put the it Gith on there, on it. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to use that disc. Oh my god. Okay, an engraved disc with Yankee origin containing a complex cipher that can decrypt ancient Gith dialects. A useful discovery if one should encounter such archaic writings. Yeah, I just said that. Right, but how do I use it? The silence stretches on. I'm all alone. Please, can I hold your hands just for a while? Torn out cage. How do I use can this? You, can you move it on top of it? I mean... Kitty. Let me see if it's just because I'm a cat. Like, there's nothing I can click on in here? You can pick it up. Yeah, so, like, that's fine. But I can't combine stuff, right? Yeah. So if I drop both of these, you'll see what I mean. So I picked up this Githyanki disc. Yeah. The disc is oh, here we go. Something's happening now. Engraved with Githyanki writing. You examine them closely, but can't make much sense of them. Without a cipher or primer to aid you, the disc's okay. message could be near impossible to discern. I think it's because I was in uh, cat mode. Oh, that makes sense. I'm just going to stash the disc in my you should pack. take the disc to Lazelle. She might know more about it. Yeah, that's what I said. So now pick up the thing and maybe you can use it. Yeah, exactly. I 
still can't. That is really weird. Maybe she needs to use it. Like, maybe Lizelle needs both of these things. Okay. We'll have to, we'll have to remember that. We'll yeah. totally forget next time. Plenty left to see. There's a button over here, over here I'm going to push. By the way, it says can't cast spells, Susser Flower, Anti-Magic Field. Do you see that everywhere? No. Susser. Huh. I wonder... That's weird. I'm just going to do a quick save and load. One sec. Okay. Okay, we're back. I don't have that anti-magic thing showing. So there was something maybe oh, weird okay. that happened when it, like, forced transformed me out of a cat and then back in or something, but... Pushing the button. Okay. Now that's a low button. Did, did it do anything? No? Maybe that's another way to... Ch now that's a low button. Just, she's just saying that's a low button. I'm gonna try throwing no this disc. <laughs> <laughs> Says target is too close, 100% disadvantage. Move away, I guess. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Bludgeoning damage, baby! Oh yeah, I almost broke it. They only have two health. Don't do that. Sentient we'll take it to Lizelle. Symbols are etched on the disc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, is this happening when you pick it up? Yes, when I pick okay. it up. Okay, drop, drop the disc. That's what I did. That's what I just picked up. Okay, but you had the you had the other the cipher in your inventory when you picked it up, right? Before I did, yes. Yeah. Okay, just making sure. Yeah. Okay, let's keep going. On my step. So this button did what? Nothing. I oh. She was just like, this is a low button. I bet you that button disables something with the turrets because you can see outside yeah. from there. Right? I, I was thinking the same thing. Since we already did it, it didn't do anything. Okay. Magic of the Weave an introduction. Read that already. All right. Let's go up and then see if something attacks us. I hope not, but anything's possible. I have no wild oh. shapes. What could go wrong? Uh, let's actually... Should I short rest to get the wild shapes back? I probably should. We need to. <sighs> I had to heal too. Off. Oh, boy. Hello. Bernard, Bernard is talking. Is it the phone? Okay, so can confirm did not do any of this stuff in early access either, right? We went here, but I think we maybe just got the stuff and ran. Yeah, I don't think I don't we did. I don't remember this, this, and possibly they added this. I don't know. Yeah, true. Um, I'm a friend. I come in peace. An unbeknownst command by fools that would intrude. Fair. Now steel shall ring. Truly false tongue will speak no more. Oh boy. Well. Okay, we're fighting. At least, at least we get to go first. Hopefully they don't have some crazy AoE. We're surrounded by archers. Let's examine these dudes. They have poison resist, psychic resist, even lightning resist, which I find interesting. Really? Fire no, resist, bludgeoning resist. Maybe it's just Bernard. He has... Anti-magic susceptibility. Okay. Incapacitated by anti-magic fields. Throw a freaking thing at him. Yeah, man. But we can't because they're all in camp. You sent them back? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We oh, had, yeah. We had to. Sh well, shit. Okay, well, this isn't too bad. There's three animated armors, and they're weaker. They don't have any... They have poison and psychic resist. Um, they have an extra attack. Opportunity attack. Okay, so... What do you want to do? <laughs> How do we handle this? <laughs> How do we handle this? Um, this guy is a real pain in the ass. Yeah. Chance to stun the wielder unless it's a construct overcharge. Um, yeah. So these are just like automated defense, like automatons, right? Uh, click on the descend button, go back to camp, grab the anti-magic field stuff, throw it at Come back up, throw it at him. You guys are going to have to click as well. You have to end your turn. I, I'll, I'm i going to keep descending, I think. Because it's, it's putting me further away each time I descend. So then I could flee. Yeah. So, wait. Wait. Why don't I just flee with him? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I feel you. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I am back. I'm going to get the anti-magic. Certainly. 
Dude, these susser tree things are... I'm really curious to know what people think about this. Like, it's... It's a mechanic. You know, like, we can do it. It's not technically cheating. Yeah, I mean, it's it's in there. Like, I it's feel like... It's using our brain. That, is... that is... Well, then why do you care what people think? Because now people are just going to be like, oh. I think it's dumb. I'm the internet. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. Doesn't bother me when people say that because I think it's cool. Oh. I'm just, I'm curious. I, I, I'm interested in people's behavior and their thought process. Yeah, I know. I'm just joking. Okay. I'm going to send this to Carlac. I'm going to send one to Shadowheart and I'll send one to the Dark Urge. Okay. Yeah. And then I'm going to, um, I guess I have to These go to the, all like that. I guess I have to go to like the beach. Is that the closest spot? Um, you just went to camp, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess you just, just leave return. camp. You just return. Yeah. Oh, my bad. I keep forgetting. I I mean, I forget. This game's so complicated that you yeah. forget, like, basic stuff because you're thinking Yeah. Yeah. next level a lot of the time. So, okay. Okay. So now, uh, use one of your character's inventories to send me a uh, one of those anti-magic things because I'm going to engage here. Oh, yeah, we, we could just, like, walk up to them, too. Um, to the Dark Urge, right? No, to uh, Asterion, because I'm coming back in one more click. Okay. Yeah, send it to me. Because I feel like I might still go first, but we'll see. You'll re-roll initiative, I think. Okay, well, cool. We're all here now. So Bernard did skipped his turn or something, maybe? I don't know what he did. Yeah, I think he just stood there. Okay. So I guess the idea is we're going to throw those things at the animated armors and then just fight Bernard, right? Is that the vibe? Correct. I'll, I'll hit this one. Okay. Go ahead. I'm just trying to get the right angle. Thing in the way. Actually, just in case, I'm going to move over a little bit. Yeah. Hey, where's my... Uh... Path is interrupted. Oh, Why is the path? Oh, because he's standing? Okay, this should do. <gasps> Yeah, I'm oh. seeing path is interrupted too. It's if you try to throw it at him, just try to throw it at the feet. Okay, I may actually want to move closer to the other guy. Oh, you want to go for this guy? Yeah. There's another one up above too, eh? Is there? Oh, damn. Okay, we don't have enough flowers for that, but that's fine. Yeah, we can take the rest of them on. Oh, I gave you my flower with Shadowheart. Yeah. Um, sorry. I keep saying path is interrupted. So that means that he's disabled. He's incapacitated. Okay. Yeah. So and you do you have one on the dark urge too? I do. Yes. Okay. And and Shadowheart has one. Oh, so maybe we do have enough. Yeah, it says shout. Oh, it's because I'm standing next to her. That's why. My bad. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Now, so the other thing is, if I just went and stood next to this guy, is that enough to disable him? That guy, I don't think, is disabled. You're talking about Bernard? No. I'm saying if I go oh. and just stand next to. Yeah, 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 yeah. An animated armor. No, no. Yeah. You just said this guy. And yeah. He's the closest. Right. This guy. Okay. Well, I want to make sure I can't get like knocked down off the back of this tower. You can do it, Odd. Hell yeah. Okay, I'm still too close to, like, do anything, so that's fine, I guess. Oh, I can magic... Sh I can wild form here. Huh, cool. Uh... This guy's pretty strong, hey, so we might want to go for the wolf so I can do crits. I can bless. What do you think about that? Yeah, I like it. We're just going to go straight at that dude, put everything into him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're, we're, we're basically wasting a turn to disable these guys, but that feels pretty good. That's not a waste. <laughs> okay, so this guy's got bludgeoning, resistance, piercing, and slashing. So what weapon should I take? I'm actually going to misty step up to this piercing? automaton up high. Okay. I guess it doesn't matter which weapon I use. He's resisted to it. 
Yeah, he's just yeah. I, you know I, what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do the spiritual weapon then maybe. I'm wondering like so, what's the trick to him? Because he's got to have something. Yeah. Bludgeoning, piercing, slashing. Are there any other damage types? I don't think so. Not. I don't think with basic weapons. He's just magic. Fire, lightning, psychic, and poison. So like something like necrotic or like uh, radiant, radiant, like the moonbeam damage. Yeah, yeah, that would be good. But I, I can't cast that because I'm a wolf now. But anyway. All right, Carlac still has a turn. Um... I think just try to split the party and go to spaces where he can't try to push you off the ledge behind us. I'm mm -hmm. uh, just looking at what I can use now. Okay. Maybe I could toss. I can't throw anything. I could do pommel strike. I think I'm going to coat my weapon with something that might help. Okay. Can you coat it in, he, like, Was he poison? Damage? You said he has poison resistance, right? Yeah. Yeah, poison. Well, I can do the elixir of bloodlust. Yeah, go for yeah. it. I don't know. I'm not going to be killing anyone. Okay. Oh, yeah, right, 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 right. right. <laughs> uh, target receives minus three penalty to spell attack rolls and spell save DC and disadvantage on saving throws for maintaining concentration. For, for some reason, he's, uh, Bernard is showing us threatened. Yeah, because the spiritual weapon. Oh, yeah, right. I didn't even see that in there. Did you attack with it yet, or what are you thinking? No, no not yet. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what to code it with, so... Don't, then. Just, uh, move. Yeah. Oops. Oh, you can't move. I already moved. Nice. Nice. Less nice. Seven. Creak. <laughs> Dude, I can't Meow. believe that. Okay. Oh, oh whoa. Okay. Whoa. Okay, this guy's... What the frick is happening? This guy is... Static Discharge Aura. All constructs near Bernard deal an additional 3 to 8 lightning damage. So that that's not going to matter. All others take 2 to 16 lightning damage each turn. When the condition ends, Bernard is stunned for 2 turns. And he's got Static Discharge Supercharge. Standing near a statically charged Bernard deals an additional 2 to 8 lightning. What the frick? I'm already so not I a wolf. That's, that's, that's good for Carlac. He's got lots of lots of moves now. I need to I need to try to, like, get out of here and use that moonbeam. Yeah. Okay. I could, I could push him. <laughs> I, 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 okay, hear me out. Hear me out. We yeah. can push him such that we can get the loot and kill him. How? Just freaking push him down here. You think... He, if you have a, a thing that shows he's... Oh, right. Yeah, he's not going into a chasm. Yeah. I mean, if, if you have a push that works, I mean... It's it's 40% chance. Yeah, that's not that great. I can moonbeam him, bro. Like, that's pretty good. I'm doing it. All right. Oh, he barely moves forget it yeah because he's probably like a million pounds um 200 kilograms <laughs> big girl so when i attack him is he going to send out a charge like um you're gonna take two to 16 lightning damage per turn and standing near a statically charged Bernard deals an additional two to eight lightning damage. So, fuck him. Be silenced. That's your uh, weapon, right? Your weapon oh does. Oh my god. <laughs> your weapon does yeah. passive silence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna need to. Did you already use Shadowheart? Nope. I've got uh, inflict wounds. I'll use that on him. Yeah, I don't know if that's wise. What do you what do you think? Well, I think you might need to disengage so that he can't just destroy both of you with his attacks. He's just gonna keep surging like that. There. I think that's the safer play. I'll moonbeam him. He doesn't have resistance. I'll take that. 
Shalili! Shalili! Um, I guess I'll stay away with the weapon too. Now, um, Asterion is up here. I could just 1v1 this animated armor guy, maybe. Yeah. Or I could... Pretty sure Karlak's gonna go down here. I could try pushing him off to get him onto that low ground. He weighs 40 kilograms. It's not bad. I'll look. On my way. Okay. Only 35. Yeah, frick. All right. Well, uh, here I am. Here I am. I don't have advantage. I could try using a bonus action to hide behind him. Yep, done. And then I'll stabby stab. There's a delay, but it's happening. Are you doing something right now? Oh my god, I missed? What? Why did I miss? Sluggardly? Can't make an opportunity attack against his most recent attacker. I think that's because of my weapon. No nope. miss. You rolled uh, three, that's why. Yeah, and then... Animated armor received conditions sluggardly. Sluggardly. I, I have something that's doing that. Yeah. It's not my weapon. We have so much stuff on us now that we have no idea when half the stuff happens. Like, why it's happening. I'm looking... F yeah. I'm really not sure. Hmm. So what are you what are you doing? Nothing. I'm just standing my turn now. Okay. It's nothing I can oh right, do. spiritual weapon. He's missing me at least. Okay, so that's good. He's he's whiffing me big time up there. There's the moonbeam damage. Now he's coming in here, and holy shit sticks. Whoa. Ow! Dude, he is impressive. So this is gonna go away in two my god, two turns. I can't, like, go up and attack him. I'm just going to throw stuff at him, I guess. Yeah, th 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 I wonder if we're missing something here, like... It kind of feels like it. Kind of feels like it. But I'm going to back away. It says I can use an action to move the beam, and I'm just not 100% sure how to do that. Unless it's just recasting the spell. Maybe. So I'm gonna click on this. Click on the spell. See if there's an option to like move the existing one. I'll see if I use it because I have two spell slots available. So I'll see if this uses it. X -X it did. It did use a spell. So I got to okay. figure out how to move that at some point. So I will use guiding bolt because that's um, radiant damage as well. Yeah, he's down to 50, but the, the dark urge is going to fall because I cannot disengage can't transform it. Oh, actually, I can. Thank you. I can cast, um, oh shoot, I can't cast Prayer of Healing. Oh, Prayer of Healing can only be cast outside of combat. Oh, I didn't notice that. Oh yeah, when you switched your spells there? Yeah, because now I don't have healing spells. Scroll Evade. Hey, what about, I could Magic Missile that dude. Yep. Yep, I'll take Sweet. that. Okay, I'll do um, Guiding Bolt. It could do up to 5, five to 30 damage, Radiance. 45% ch chance, though. <sighs> and then I'll hide back here. God, I love I loved having a rogue. 26! Hell yeah, dude. That's oh, yeah, insane. he's going down, man. We need 12. He might. We might even kill him on the Disengage or something here. Um, I will throw him. Throw something at him. Throw him. <laughs> I will throw him. Yeah, we tried that. <laughs> um, what what should I throw though? You must have some junk. I've got like a, a hammer. Throw a hammer then. Oh wait wait wait! I've got the super throw. Enraged throw. Super throw. <laughs> it knocked Whoa, him over. Nice dude. He's prone, Sweet. that's big. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, is that just a chance-based thing? 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's it's that super throw when I'm enraged. Ah, okay. Um, I could do a regular throw too. Like I could throw alchemist fire. He's resistant to fire. All right. So don't do that. He's only Just a seven health. Weapon at him. Yeah. <laughs> ah, nice. <try. laughs> well, silent spiritual weapon attack, and then yeah, I got. We got this. We got this, baby. Oh, he's one health, dude. Come on. Good, good, good. Okay, he's up. He didn't take a disengage. Whoa. Holy crap! He is a straight up murderer. Yep. Yep. Whose turn is it? I think it's still his turn. What's happening? He's stuck. Oh, there, there we go. go. There we go. It's like the attack, right? Shall we cut and run? Okay. I guess I'll do enrage throw again. Okay. This great axe. I mean, I could just attack him. Yep, do it. Forty percent. Hold on, let me. I know. I know. Let me use I a know. Sterian. Forty-five percent with the spiritual weapon. Yes. Uh, hold on. He's dead. Okay, nice. Good job. Got him! 25% chance, man. Okay. Oops. Um, um, can you help out, help up Shadow Heart or toss a potion? Not from up here. Oh, ah, okay. I guess I could toss a potion, but then she'll probably get knocked uh, right back down again. I was thinking with the bear. I can't, I can't toss potions with the bear. I don't have throws. Okay. Um... Nice. Is it? I just love watching the bear jump. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, uh, if you want me to, I can throw something down to her. I, I can get her up next turn. Yeah. Just focus on this guy. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Okay. Are these guys weak to anything? No. Uh, in terms of physical damage? 45%. God, why? He's got a high armor class, right? Yeah, 18 armor class. That's that's why. Hard to hit. So, like, what can we use when enemies have high armor class stuff? Then we have to, like, use, like, AoE spells and stuff, it seems. A magic. Just any kind of magic. Although armor class does affect hitting with magic spells, yeah, I see, I see what you're saying. Yeah, target. Like if you just if you land it on the on the ground, it will. Uh, it'll hit here, dude. Living creature. Okay, so even if I vampire bite, but I should be vampire biting in fights or somewhere so that I get that vampire bonus with him. I gotta be remembering that. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Survival is um. Also um. Um. Oh, he sucks. Magic Missile is good, right? Because it automatically hits. Yes, Magic Missile is good. And I have that on uh, Asterion. I got you, Shadow Heart! Oh, this is this is sweet. After they had a nice uh, character moment. Shadow Heart's up, but she can't do anything. I'll move so it's harder for her to get hit. And then I feel like we're going to have to kill those guys, right? You think so? Yeah. I don't think they're going to just drop. I think we're, we could probably just free shoot them from a distance. Um, okay, I can't quite get up there yet. It's fine. Yeah, I guess they can't fight back, right? So we just keep whacking them until they die. Yeah. Annoying. I'm coming, buddy. Okay. So now. Uh, yeah, now we just go hit these guys one at a time until they die. 
I wonder um, what we would have needed to like convince these robots or these automatons. Yeah, it didn't seem like we had a uh, great opportunity eh, to. Yeah, but it could have just been like you know maybe maybe like a bard or something. Oh, sorry, are you waiting for me? Oh wait. I don't know. I'm, I'm just using. A, I was passing a health potion over. To Shadow hurt. Why? Light on my feet. anything um, just go up in melee range right and hit him like yeah i'm gonna dash okay i was just trying to see if i could cast a spell Probably be better if we attack different targets. Just, just be a little faster. Oh, you think it'd be faster? I mean, I do, yeah. Marginally. Well, no, because you prevent having to use two turns to cross the room, right? Oh, I can't go from there. exciting yeah i know yeah i mean yeah we did feel pretty smart at the time <laughs> it would be cool if they realized like um you know okay i have no more oh that's hitting a torch my bad yeah, it's a it'll go faster if you hit the enemies yeah i know <laughs> i have no more magic missile charges That guy's down. Okay. Can't reach. <laughs> Sluggardly again. I think Carlac's just gonna run from one to the other, killing them. I remember reading about Sluggardly, but I can't remember what we have that's doing that on him. Can we search for Sluggardly? Maybe. Yeah, we'll, we'll check later. Keep missing. I'm going to move away and I'm just going to cast a spell. You know what would be cool? Do we have guidance or did that wear off? Or did we ever cast it? Oh, bless. Yeah, no, it. Um, oh, bless. Yeah, yeah I, should, I should have recast it if I could have. It. Uh, she got hit, so she lost concentration. Oh, right. <laughs> the guy just attacked a dead body, dude. Yeah, he did. <laughs> dude. Okay. So, hit, eh? Yeah, he's got an AC of 18, so okay, like, I can I can I can bless. Can call on that. Bunch of shit in the way. I know. No, no, no. It's really messy. Can you move that. Just... Well, let's just give him a chance. Okay. 
Oh, also you're holding it, right? So. Oh yeah, yeah. There we go. That's funny. <laughs> Epic beatdowns! Got a lot. There, there we go! We go. <laughs> Sweet. Alright. You wanna go check that cool guy? <sighs> Time to work out. I know you do. Yeah, I'm on. Yeah, I'm on. There you go, guys. We didn't push him off. Yep. Potion of greater healing! I'm gonna regather all the scissor blooms. Light of creation. Guess what? It does lightning damage. Six to twenty. It's a spear. It looks like. Okay. Uh, overcharge chance to stun the wielder unless it is a construct. Okay. It's plus one. It has rush attack, lacerate, and cleave. Rush attack would be pretty cool on Karlak. Guiding light. Believe you had this. It's the light light cantrip. Mm-hmm gives you that and an antique key an old hefty key found on an automaton in the underdark thanks for that description man interesting so where would that key be used what do we do with the key maybe to unlock the door down below but then how would we could be uh gotten in here again uh do you want this ring the uh, guiding light what is Once it? You cast light. Uh, try casting it on you, and maybe that would. Uh, who are you sending the light it to? That you want. I sent it to the dark urge. My ring lit up. Must have been linked to that button. Oh, did you hear that? No. It says my ring lit up. Must have been linked to that button, and then this basement button appeared. It doesn't say ascend or descend anymore. It says basement. So that ring is special. Huh. Used by the previous owner to access both the Underdark's darkest corners and her own basement. The ring seems to reflect light where there should be none. So oh. There's something special there. You didn't read the, I, I, didn't I, I, read I didn't the read flavor the whole, text. I didn't read the whole description. Oh, I just thought it was like that thing you had before. So I could use this, yes, to infuse myself cool. with an aura of light. Look. Yeah, yeah. Good call, man. And that lasts until long rest, which is cool. Exactly. So you can just keep recasting it. Remember I kept casting that on you in early access? Yeah. Because you're like, why am I missing all the time? It's because you're trying to attack in the dark. So I kept casting it on your weapon. So you should come to the basement. Because mm -hmm. this is a different basement than the cat was in. Don't waste a step. Uh, I just have descend now. Oh, I can't use it. Oh, yeah, because you don't have the ring. You got to come back up. Well, what's that going to do? You come up, I go down, you go down. Because I can click on it when you're up here. No, that won't work. I'll send you the ring. Or that. Put what? the ring on, use it, come down, and then come back up. And then give me the ring. Scroll of invisibility. Nice. So I picked up a scroll of invisibility. Um, maybe there's something else. Oh yeah, scroll of dark vision. Scroll of Scorching Ray, Scroll of Feather Fall. Okay, I sent it back to you. Okay, thanks. I'll take the Feather Fall, I guess. Um, scroll of Ray of Frost. I'm sending these all to Shadowheart. Mm -hmm. Darkness, Crown of Madness. Scroll, Charm Person. So Madness and a humanoid enemy making them attack the creature closest to them, other than you. Even if it's allied, that's cool. Yeah, there's a bunch of cool stuff down here, man. Gilded chest. I guess I should read the descriptions, huh? It's so funny, because I usually do. And in this case, I was just like, oh, we've seen this before. It's we I usually don't. Yeah. Uh, here's a <laughs> ring, the sparks wall. The wearer can't be electrocuted. <laughs> ah, so there, there must be go. a way in here that we didn't see, that I probably didn't see, because I was the one navigating. Um, well. When the inventor mm. ear met the cleric Lenore, sparks flew. Apart, they were in a rut, but together they inspired each other to push the boundaries of innovation and invention. The ring is just one of their many scientific triumphs. So that's anti-electrocution um, and resistance to lightning. Elixir of poison resist. Drow poison. Coat your active weapon with poison. Uh, elixir of bark skin. Drink to increase your armor class to 16. 
and a scroll of stinking cloud create a gas cloud <laughs> so nauseating it prevents creatures from taking actions i'll send that to that's Shadow, good Shadow heart i'll pick up uh, i got a staff of arcane blessing it's got mistress blessing plus grants an additional 1d4 so yeah you can i don't know if you can cast bless or it just has it dude i have <laughs> i have a pair of boots mistress grace i don't know where we got these you might like this actually the who's mistra again staff. Who's Mistra? Mistra is the... Uh, is the... She's the... Oh, right. It was Lenore that was the Lady of the Tower, right? Yes. But Gale's uh, girl was Mistra. The, the goddess of magic? Something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and it's Grant's Featherfall as a skill. Beautiful. So I'm going to replace these electric boots. I don't know if you want that. I also sent you that staff of arcane blessing. A little trick that you can do is if you click on the the slot for the weapon, it shows you all the stuff that you can equip in that slot. Right. Sorry, you might be hearing Walty. Oh. Okay. Well, okay. I gotta stop here, so this is fine. Um, mm -hmm. let's take a break. We got a feather fall that we can cast whenever now. We don't need scrolls. That's a big deal. I don't know yeah, where yeah, those yeah. boots came from. I don't know when we got them, but I have them. Uh, Beautiful. So very cool. That was fun. We'll see what happens when we leave here. And uh, there's a big metal Lots door. To do. Lots Maybe that's to do, what the I key guess. is for. I don't know. Yep, probably. Very sick. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye for now. Bye.